Welcome to this pause to get into your splits. A lot of people think about the peak of flexibility being able to get into a full side split. And not all of us are going to be able to do that. It's all about your anatomy. So some people just have longer muscles and the right bone structure and others you're just going to be working on getting more and more mobility and getting more and more open and finding your own version of this pose known as Hanumanasana, named after Hanuman, the monkey god. So to start with, we're going to lay on our backs to stretch out our hamstrings to start stretching them out, to start waking them up. Come onto your backs, both feet to the mat, lift the right leg up, interlace your hands behind your hamstring, keeping it nice and straight. Don't pull it in yet, just like this. Point and flex your foot, breathing as you're here, pressing your lower back to the mat, And already by having your legs straight or straightish, you're getting into your hamstrings. And keep your foot flexed, flexed or pointed. You're going to bend and then extend. Bending on an exhale, inhaling to extend. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. A few more on your own, getting into that hamstring. Nice and gently. We don't want to just pull into it. We want to be super kind. Really kind. You can start bringing your leg closer to you if you'd like. You never ever have to get your leg straight. It's not a requirement. We're just getting more and more mobility through our leg because flexibility is mobility with strength. That's all it is. It's not being a magical Gumby person. It's having mobility and strength. All right, let's place your right foot down. Take a moment to observe the difference between your right leg and your left leg. And then extend your left leg up, straight up to the sky like you're trying to kick the clouds or kick the ceiling, depending on where you're practicing. Interlace your hands behind your hamstring and then point and flex your foot. Remember that your leg can be bent. It does not ever need to go straight. We want to take care of our bodies the way they're showing up today. Not the way we want them to show up. Not the way they used to be but the way they are at this exact moment. Pick whether you would like your foot flexed, pointed or flexed, and then start bending and extending that leg. Feeling into that hamstring, seeing what it's doing, allowing it to work. Allowing it to start warming up and opening. So after this, we're going to do some lunging salutations that incorporate a half split. We'll do them fairly quickly, one breath per movement. And then we're going to hold our half splits. We'll gradually start moving our legs further apart. Blocks are highly encouraged. We're not going to put them under our hips though. Let's hold our legs here. Release your left leg. Take a moment to observe, but we will be using the blocks under our hands. I don't want anyone getting injured on my watch. All right, hugging your knees to your chest. Rock and roll side to side first. And then rock back and forth three times, getting into your back slightly, massaging it out. And then rolling through a seated pose, coming through your tabletop position. Tuck your toes under, 
hips go up, finding downward facing dog. So in our downward facing dog, we are getting into our hamstrings and we straighten our legs and send our heels to the mat. That's elongating and lengthening our hamstrings. So come onto your toes, bend both knees. Send your chest to your thighs. Keep your chest where it is. Straighten your right leg. Bend your right leg again. Straighten your left. And then walk your dog out like this. So every time your chest will make contact with your thigh. And this allows the opposite leg to get stretched out. You'll feel the stretch in your calf, in your Achilles, and in your hamstring. Excellent. Let's meet on our toes and then see what happens when you descend your heels towards the mat. You can have a bend in your knees if that feels good. Again, your legs don't ever need to get straight. If they do, awesome. If they don't, awesome. Inhaling, looking forward to your hands and let's just step to the front. Another pose that gets into our hamstrings. Feet are hips width distance apart. Bend your knees. Fold over your legs. Grab onto opposite elbows. Ragdoll pose, which is a form of Uttanasana or standing forward pose. Standing forward fold. If it feels good to already straighten your legs, you may, but it is not a requirement. Your chest should still be in contact with your thighs, generous men in the knees if that's needed. Allowing everything just cascade down and out of your head. Should feel really good. And then if you want to actually go ahead and start punching into your hamstring. Hamstrings. Just getting in there, waking them up. Say, hey, we're going to work today. We're going to try to get into the splits. I'm going to get more mobility and get more strong. Release your hands. Bend in your knees. Coming up to standing. Arms up. Look up, look up at your hands. Exhaling hands to your heart. Let's start flowing into a sun salutation with lunges. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhaling, hands to shins, straight back, look forward, halfway lift. Exhaling, hands down, step the left foot back. Put the left knee down, inhaling, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Exhaling, hands down, coming into your half split. Inhaling, low lunge. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, arms down. Straightening the left leg, low lunge. Half split tending. <laughs> Inhale, low lunge. Exhale to step forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to standing, arms up, look up, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, hands down, set the right foot forward, right foot backwards, knee down, inhaling, Anjaneyasana. Exhaling, hands down, half split. Inhaling, low lunge, exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhaling, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up to standing. Arms up, look up. Exhaling, hands to your heart. So you can see we're not taking yoga push-ups. Just focusing on our legs. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, left foot steps back, left knee down. Inhaling, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. 
Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling up to standing. Arms that look up, last side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, step the right foot back, right knee down. Inhaling, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhaling, stepping forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, arms up, look up. Mountain pose, exhaling, hands to your heart. All right, getting your blocks ready. You may want them or need them. And we're going to hold our half splits. Inhaling, arms up, look up, exhaling, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhaling, left foot steps back, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. All right, so let's walk that right foot to the right slightly. Put both hands inside the right leg. And then bring a block inside and bring your forearms down. So this wider stance will help you get into your hamstrings a little more deeply. Slight micro bend in the knees so that you don't lock them. Flex the right foot strongly and ensure that your hips are going past your knee. So you want to step hips over back knee. Your glutes are not at your heels. And we hold if this is too low, feel free to take both blocks to a higher height. You can even be up here or here. If where we were was too high, you can come all the way down to your forearms. Whatever feels good, whatever feels right. Holding here for a few more breaths. Like getting into that hamstring, feeling it open. And then bending into that right foot, right knee. Walk your right foot to center. Come back to your downward facing dog. Left leg step forward, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. You get to do the other side right away. Walking the left foot to the left. You can see this side a little better. Left foot is flex, hip step over the knee. Bringing a block inside, resting your forearms. You can also stay elevated. You can use blocks at a higher level. You don't have to come into your forearms. If the block is too high, take it away. Hmm. Keeping a micro bend in that left knee. This wider stance allows us to get a little deeper in. And you know at this point which side is your more flexible side. I encourage you to stay longer on that side. I always forget to do that though, but everyone always says too. So um, I will say it also because it's definitely something that you can do. You can spend longer on your tighter side and that'll eventually loosen it up more. Oh, all right, few more breaths here. Getting into that hamstring, allowing it to release. And we'll try to get a little deeper 
when we start with stepping our right foot back. Okay, lunge into your left leg, walk your left foot to the center, and then step forward, right foot meets the left, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhaling, coming up to standing, arms up, look up, exhale, right into your forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, Exhaling, right foot steps back, right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Exhaling, half split. All right, so this time, bring your hands, bring your blocks underneath your hands, any height will do. And then we're just going to go front and back. So wiggle the front foot forward, wiggle the back knee back. Front foot forward, back knee back. And then just see, observe what it feels like. Front foot forward, back knee back. And then always keeping your blocks here. It's like micro bend in your elbows. You don't need to have your pelvis kiss the mat. That's not the goal. The goal is to increase your mobility. Keep inching forward, inching back. If you reach, try to square your hips. Keep those back toes tucked, press into the floor. So I'm going to have my blocks at the low height and get a little bit more elevation. Staying upright, breathing. You can definitely repeat what we were doing before, being in a wider stance and holding. Don't force it. And then pressing into your blocks. Start dragging that front foot back into your regular half split. Bend into your left knee, plant your hands down, downward facing dog. One side definitely feels different. <laughs> Inhaling, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale. Low lunge, exhaling, half split. All right. Then bringing your blocks underneath your hands. And we're gonna start going forward and back, just scooting as far as it feels good, keeping our hips squared, keeping our left toes tucked. So I'm gonna bring my left knee back, right foot forward, left knee back, right foot forward, any amount. Staying as high as you need to, squaring the hips towards the front, micro bend in the knees. When you're ready, keep going, inch back, inch forward until you reach your mat. If you do, awesome. If you don't, awesome. Pressing into the mat. Deep breaths. Arms up if you feel stable. And then pressing into your block. Come back into your half split. Bend into the right knee. Step the left foot to meet the right. Halfway lift. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, rolling up to standing. Arms up, look up. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Let's come to a seat. Let's do one more pose to come in so that we can accept whatever it is that happened. This will also continue to get our hamstrings. We'll take a forward fold, but our legs will not be together. They'll be slightly apart. Take a block at any height and place it in between your calves. Inhale, arms up, exhaling, hands come forward, and then reach your forehead to the block. You can have a slight bend in the knees. <sighs> Coming into yourself, checking in, letting go of any judgment that you gave yourself and celebrating the fact that you tried to get into a split today. And maybe you did get into a split. Maybe this is a practice to just keep on 
working on your hamstrings. It's whatever it is. This just gives you a foundation of how to get into those hamstrings in a safe way. But always, always, always pay attention to your body. You don't ever have to do what I say. It's a beautiful thing about yoga. It's you and your yoga mat. Sometimes you're not even on a yoga mat. All right, when you are ready, rolling up to a seat, taking an easy seat of any kind to face the screen, to face me, hands to your heart. Thank you so much for finding this video. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope that you like, share, subscribe, and that you have a beautiful day.